Coming up on today's episode of AMA Air, we're gonna give you some tips on how you can comment to the FAA. I know it's a little cold outside right now, but we're thinking about Camp AMA this summer. That's right. We're also gonna give you some uh, highlights from our iFly AMA Facebook group. All that and more on today's episode of AMA Air. Well, thanks for joining us this week on AMA Air. My name is Matt Ruddick. And I'm Claire Aldenheisen. So hopefully you guys uh, see some things we've changed on our set a little bit. You guys have sent us some great feedback and we want to thank you so much for that. One person chimed in and said, we need to see some more airplanes on the set. This is for you, random commenter. Yeah. <laughs> and hey, if anybody can successfully point out what type of aircraft these three are, uh, we'll give you a shout out on the show. We just want to show that we're we're listening yeah. to what you guys are saying. There was a comment I really loved um, on the last episode where someone said they felt like we were just sitting around um, in the break room, talking shop, and yeah. you know the the re more relaxed atmosphere really connected with them. And I like that a lot. I feel like that's the vibe I want to portray on the show. Now, absolutely, so absolutely. That and made me happy. <laughs> we're getting lots of great feedback, so keep that feedback coming. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know we want to make this show as good as it can be and something that you guys enjoy watching. So uh, with that, let's get straight into the first story. Let's go. Um, we're going to talk just a little bit about the FAA situation that's been going on. We're going to keep just you guys... a little bit. Yeah, we want to keep you guys updated as much as we can. Mm -hmm. um, so the latest to come out of that right now has been the FAA comment deadline uh, has not been extended. We have filed for an extension along with some other groups. That has been denied. So officially, March second is the last day you can comment. Correct. So be sure to get those comments in. Um, if you want some some help in deciding how to comment, you know how to shape your comments. Uh, we just released a new episode of the AMA podcast. It's mm -hmm. a special bonus episode. It's bonus episode number three. Uh, go take a listen to that. Tyler and I sit down and talk about all that kind of stuff, what makes a good comment, what doesn't make a good comment. We clear up some misconceptions as well mm -hmm. um, that are kind of out there on social media about you know what's going to get counted, what's not going to get counted, and that sort of thing. Um, so go check out that podcast. You know, there is some interesting discussion about the tone of the comment that mm -hmm. you should be leaving. And so, you know, there there are emotional comments and more logical type comments. Right. And while, you know, I love things that say, I've been flying since I was a kid. I take my grandkids to the flying field. This, this FAA legislation is really going to hurt my family personally. You know, that's while it, it tugs at the heartstrings, it might not be the best comment to leave when you are making your case. So maybe do something that's more like, this is gonna cost me X amount of dollars. Um, what else, Matt? Or just fact-based <laughs> fact stuff. Yeah, fact-based stuff. Uh, you know, that's gonna t show the FAA that these are the real world effects mm -hmm. that are gonna happen if these rules pass. So uh, again, go check out that episode of the yep. podcast, modelaircraft.org slash podcast to check that out. Um, we go over all that sort of stuff. Um, we also talk a little bit about the new government advocacy coalition oh, yep, that's being formed uh, between the AMA and some of our uh, partners that are retailers and manufacturers in the mm -hmm. hobby. We talk about all that sort of stuff as well. So again, modelaircraft.org slash podcast, go check that out. Uh, let's talk about Camp AMA. Let's talk about Camp AMA. I'm so excited. Yeah. So it's very cold here right now, but I'm thinking about summer. My mind is usually on summer, but this year, especially because of Camp AMA, yeah. it's taking place June 7th through the 13th. And um, humble brag right now, I am the mastermind behind Camp AMA this year. <laughs> So we have built it completely from scratch and I am so pumped to use a word one of my former coworkers really hated. I am stoked, sorry Rodney, but I am stoked for Camp AMA this year. We have been talking to a lot of different people. I can't really go into it right now because not everything's nailed down, but it's gonna be a good camp this year. Yeah, you know, the conversations I've had with you and Kyle, our education director, um, the things you guys have planned uh, boy, the the kids are going to be in for a real treat this year. I really believe that. I think so too. And you know, I do want to share one thing that I can disclose. Um, 
You might have seen him on one of the I am the AMA features, mm -hmm. Mason Hutchison. Yeah. We are doing an activity that is inspired by the Strato launch. So that's I'm, pretty cool. That's personally <laughs> the one thing, one of the things like I'm most excited about because that project is so crucial to you know man flight right now, mm -hmm. and to to kind of take that and translate it into to modeling and to give these kids a chance to work you know, be mentored essentially by one of the lead designers on that project. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's a huge, uh, a huge thing for those, for those kids. I know, I'm so excited. I'm really, really pumped. So make sure you visit us at amaflightschool.org slash camp AMA to find out more. Mm -hmm. You can also reach out to our AMA district vice presidents and um, look into getting a scholarship because each district actually offers a scholarship to a youth member every year. And you have to be within the ages of 13 to 17 to mm -hmm. attend camp. So make sure your birthday is not before camp AMA this year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, well, coming up after the break, we're going to uh, he actually hear from some camp AMA attendees and share a story about how District 9 scholarships help them. Whether you're in the workshop or on your way to go fly, download the AMA podcast, a new weekly look at the world of model aviation. Interviews with subject matter experts and witnesses to history, the AMA podcast has it all. Just like this past week, we interviewed the RC geek himself, Chris Wolf, where he talked about how he got started in RC and how he became one of the biggest RC YouTubers out there. Download the AMA podcast right to your mobile device every single Monday through your favorite podcasting app. With the uh, donations of people in our district, we raised over $2,000 to send these two young gentlemen to camp. And that's all through the uh, modelers who took part in our events and, and bought some souvenirs. Uh, so this is your money from the members, from the AMA members in District 9 that are sending these two gentlemen to Matsi. And I want you to know that, and we're going to try to do the same thing next year. One of our uh, uh, fundraisers this year was a cup designed by one of our members. We're selling that over at the AMA table for $20. All that money goes into next year's scholarship fund. So if you want one of those, stop by there. But for now, the spotlight's on these two young gentlemen who are in a week or less are on their way to Muncie for Camp AMA. Let, let's get Nathan up here. He's our first scholarship winner. Hey, baby, Nathan. You know, seeing that video really drives home the point that coming to Camp AMA is a big deal to these kids and especially the kids that might not otherwise get to attend. You know, they're yeah. really grateful and that makes me so happy. You know, I want to make that experience as awesome as possible for them. And so to see that, you know, these district VPs are supporting the kids and really promoting the hobby in, in our youth membership is awesome. Yeah, you know, it's a responsibility I think we all have to try to pass on the hobby to the next generation. And uh, getting a chance to talk to some of these uh, scholarship recipients that have been out here at camp in the past, how grateful they are mm -hmm. for the opportunity. Like it's, it, it, it never goes unnoticed in my opinion. So, um, Kudos to all our district VPs that Absolutely. participate in that. I think it's I think it's a great thing that they're doing. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, uh, you know, we started talking last episode about the iFly AMA Facebook group. Uh, if you haven't joined that yet, please go do so. It's you're you're missing out. Mm -hmm. That's all there is to it. Um, I I did want to point out somebody that's been spending a lot of time on the uh, iFly AMA Facebook group and participating and posting all sorts of great content. Uh, Joe Vermillion, who is a, a good friend of a lot of ours here at the AMA, yeah. but he's also an employee over at Balsa USA. Um, he's been incredibly active, posting all sorts of tips and tricks videos uh, on that group. I love his stuff. It's so it's so uh, just informative and, and it's helpful. It's fascinating. Like, you can't stop watching that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and one video in particular that I watched uh, just a couple of days ago that I thought was a, a little mind blowing was about using CA in the in the workshop and that one was amazing. How you can <laughs> how you can more economically store kicker to be able to make it last a little longer. It's a great video. Go check it out again. It's the iFly AMA Facebook group. 
go to Facebook, type iFlyAMA in the little search bar at the top, and you'll have that pop right up. It's You're, you're missing out. I, I, trust me. <laughs> well, coming up uh, after the break, we're going to tell you a little bit about UAS for STEM. And some other deadlines that are coming up today. <laughs> Absolutely. And we're also going to tell you a little bit about Model Aviation Day 2020. Did you know that the National Model Aviation Museum is the world's largest model aviation museum with over 12,000 objects? If you've ever visited us, you might be wondering where the rest of it is. If you tune in to Flyby, our monthly scripted series, you'll learn more about everything we have in the collection. You can watch new episodes of Flyby every month on, no, every Friday, every last Friday of the You can fly, fly by. You can fly, fly. You can watch fly. You can catch Flyby every last Friday on our YouTube channel. <laughs> so you had a little trouble there. <laughs> you know, it is harder, than, it's more <laughs> difficult than you think, okay? Especially since I had to do that whole promo off the top of my head. I did not have a teleprompter. I didn't have a script. <laughs> Well, you did fine, at least right there till the end. Yeah, I got there. <laughs> but go check out Flybys. They're, it's great stuff you, you and Dylan put together for Thank that stuff. Thank you. So. It is the final Friday of every month. The final Friday of every month. <laughs> should just dub my voice in at the end. Oh my gosh, that'd be so funny. <laughs> well, uh, so we've talked about Camp May. Mm -hmm. uh, there's another education program that's coming up later this year that's returning again. Yes. I, this is the fourth or fifth year, I think, for it, but... Something like that. Something like that. <laughs> it's uh, UAS for STEM. Uh, tell us a little bit about the deadline coming up for to sign up for that. Of course. So UAS for STEM is our annual program for kids to kind of get into building their own UAV mm -hmm. and participating in a specific challenge that we put on for um, the teams that participate. I actually just onboarded our 18th team. So we have a lot of kids signed up this year and it's a national program. So, you know, you don't have to necessarily be in Indiana or anywhere in particular in the U.S. because yep. um, in August, August 15th actually is the national competition. So the uh, winning teams are, well, the teams that pass the regionals are going to get to come out yeah. here and compete at the national level. And I'm pretty excited. It's a cool program. And you just have to sign up by March 1st to get your, your kit and get going. Yeah, so you got a month to do so. Mm -hmm. uh, again, this is high school age teams, yep. if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so that's what we're kind of looking for there. Uh, UESforSTEM.modelaircraft.org is the website. Go yep. check that out for more information. Again, the deadline is March 1st. Yep. And uh, you're not going to miss out on that. Uh, something else you're not going to want to miss out on is National Model Aviation Day 2020. Uh, the date has been set. And it's coincidentally August 15th, so you only have one date to remember. Which hey, there is, you go. Which is helpful. Uh, <laughs> if you haven't participated in National Model Aviation Day yet, you're, you're missing out on that too. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a whole day dedicated to, to modeling. It's a great time for you know camaraderie and for fellowship and all that sort of thing. So... Uh, again, August 15th, 2020 is the National Model Aviation Day. Learn more at modelaviationday.com. You can register there as well. Uh, so we also have some deadlines that are actually happening today. They're due today, February 1st. So we've got Take Off and Grow. We've got the Flying Site Assistance Grants, which hashtag... Fix the face. I can't believe that turned into a thing. <laughs> and some other scholarships are also due today. And so if you guys aren't watching on February 1st, maybe you didn't hit that little subscribe bell and yep. you you don't want to miss out on this kind of thing because this can really help fix the fence. <laughs> <laughs> I started a thing. It's the first time. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you haven't, uh, if you're interested in any of those, and they have Go, to be postmarked today, so get yep. it in the mail if it's February 1st still. Yep, you want to make sure you get over as soon as possible. So um, with that, that's all we've got for this week's episode of AMA Air. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, and of course, if you haven't yet joined the uh, Academy of Model Aeronautics, please do so. Uh, go over to modelaircraft.org slash join to check out what the AMA can do for you. And with that, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.